Well, hello again. It's uh, been what? Year, year and a half since my last post. Um, built the trailer to tow behind the car so that I can you know, have a place to live. You know, no matter where I go, got, you know, some place that's relatively warm. I mean, you know, today's cold, but it's cold pretty much everywhere. I mean, you know, it's cold where I am. It's cold where I've been. Um, it's just cold. It's Christmas Day, and it's cold. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, my little trailer's doing what it's supposed to do for the most part. Got a toilet, got a microwave, got a TV... Got a little refrigerator, got AC, still working on the heat, but, you know, bits and pieces, bits and pieces. Um, still you know, working when I can. Um, didn't work yesterday, don't work today, obviously, don't work tomorrow. We'll see what comes after that. Uh, <clears throat> Um, let's see what's happened in the last year, year and a half. Um, stopped drinking. Uh, I mean, I didn't really start until I was like 27 and uh, started hitting it hard when uh, I was in a an exceptionally shit relationship. Um, didn't start off that way, but then most shit relationships don't. Um, but I started drinking heavy to use it as a coping mechanism, and then removed from that relationship. Um, after a time, I had to look back and ask myself, all right, you're not there anymore. Why are you still doing this to yourself? Um, you know, it was a horrible situation. Um, you know, it was a horrible place for me to be in. But then again, you know, I have been in a horrible place for other people to be in. So, you know, that's fucking life. Um, it is what it is. Um, so I stopped drinking. Uh, kind of had a come to Jesus meeting with myself as an agnostic. Um, and had to set aside the uh, therapeutic trauma I went through as a kid um, and reach out and find therapy after 30 years. Um, got diagnosed with all the usual suspects, everything I kind of figured already, um, and a few others. I mean, Depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, associative episodes. You know, it is what it is. Um, on medication. Uh, which is another good reason to not be drinking. Because that would be a bad mix. But as a result. <sighs> you know. I'm functioning better and I have hardly any anxiety anymore. I mean, there are some concerning effects of the medication. Um, like in the past where I would have probably been more restrained thanks to the anxiety. Um, you know, where it's like, eh, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't cross this intersection right now or, you know, something like that. Now it's just like, fuck it. 
we're going. And uh, I brought that up to uh, the therapist, and the therapist is like, mm -hmm. okay, okay, we're going to double your dose. Like, all right, that wasn't where I thought we were going with that, but sure. So uh, it is what it is. I'm kind of trusting other people to do their jobs, which is not exactly my forte after everything. Um, trust is hard earned. Um, but I suppose in a couple instances I've had to take a leap of faith. Um, had some people reach back out to me. Um, who, you know, once they they realized everything that had happened. Uh, they were kind of like, you know, shit, I was in a similar situation. I should have, I should have seen the signs. And I'm like, no, you shouldn't have. That was the whole point. You're supposed to put on a facade that there's nothing wrong. Nothing is happening. Everything's cool. Nothing to see here. Move along. And, uh, but yeah, so... You know, had some people who knew me during reach back out and some who knew before or knew me before when I was a kid. Um, and uh, been in contact with a couple on a regular basis, on a daily basis, um, which has been nice, you know, because they knew me, you know, both beforeing, before, before, um, before and during. Um, so they've got a, a, a interesting insight into me. Um, but yeah, I mean, mostly otherwise I keep to myself, you know, you know it's, it's better all the way around as I work through this shit. Um as I work through myself and, and figure myself out again. Um, because there was a lot of damage done to who I was, who I was when I went into said bad relationship is not who I was when I came out of it. And, uh, And while I can't go back to who I was before, I at least can um, get some semblance of a grasp of, you know, what I want to keep with me and what I don't that will shape who I am. But I guess that's about it. Um, been doing my my writing okay there's that too um but uh not as much as i i would like to but more than i was um, again um to those that are in my life you already know how i feel about you to those that have been there in the past and are no longer. Um, I hope things are well. Uh, you know, I know some people are going to be like, holy shit, he's still alive. And other people are going to be like, holy shit, he's still alive. But, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, I just hope everybody has a good day and a good rest of the year and a good rest of their lives. Um, maybe it won't be another year in change and until I make an update. Maybe it'll be longer. Who knows? So, to the, uh, you know, 
five people who watch my videos and the three-legged dog and the bag of stale chips. Have a good one.